Hey guys, welcome in. My name's Shannon. We're here today with the Timeless Aquarius reading. How is everybody doing? I hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a wonderful Friday or whatever day it is that you're watching this. All right. Without further ado, let's hop in. What do we need to know? Wow, okay, for the Aquarius Collective. Right off the bat, we've got the Eight of Swords and the Hermit popping out. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So we could be feeling a little bound. We're going inward to kind of go over what is making us feel tied down. This could have something to do with your job or something that you're working on. Um, achieving here. Let's see, what do, why do we need to know this? Why are we feeling all tied up? It's like we're going inward to try and find our voice. What do we need to know about this spirit? Okay. So we have the Three of Swords coming out. Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. There could have been something that caused some heartache for you or some type of a split between your mind and your heart. And now we're with the Hermit, we're going inward to try and unravel why this happened or decide on what our next move is going to be here. It's kind of like feeling heartache but not really wanting to speak on it yet because we're not in full understanding of why it happened. This could have something to do, we had the Eight of Pentacles, now we have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck, so this could definitely have something to do with your stability, security here in the physical world. So a job, it could also have to do with a person that you've been with that brought some type of security or stability to your world who you know, it ended in heartbreak or it ended in some type of, again, disillusion between the connection between your head and your heart. Why, why, what else do we need to know here, Spirit? Okay, so we've got the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune coming out. So with the Two of Wands, as you can see, he's holding the world in his hands. And he's looking out over everything, wondering, what's my next move going to be? And with the Wheel of Fortune coming out, this is something that's been faded. So I think what you're not realizing right now with this Eight of Swords is that you do have the world in your hands. You have, there's something about whatever this situation is, clearing out, paving the way for you to step into a situation which has been faded to happen. Yeah, we have justice on the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely some type of, with the hermit being here, some type of perspective shift that is needed or that is currently occurring. With the hermit, we're following that hope. We're following the star, as you can see. So there's something about why, why this messy situation, this unpleasant situation happened is all to help you realize the actual direction you're meant to be going in. Man, these cards are going everywhere today, guys. So we have the King of Wands and the Eight of Cups and the Empress on the bottom of the deck. There is something here about needing to step into your more masculine driven energy to be able to move away from this emotionally. There's something about there being ties still connected here mentally and emotionally to whatever this past situation was for you. And we're really going to, with the Empress being on the bottom of the deck and the King of Wands coming out, there's something here about us stepping out of our comfort zone. Um, so maybe we're more used to being in the Empress energy and we feel more comfortable there. Spirit saying we have to step more into the energy of the King of Wands in order to release ourselves from whatever this situation is so that we can actually begin to start planning our new path. But we have everything that we need currently to start that process. 
There's something about us needing to take some type of an action though. What else do we need to know here about this? Like I said, you have everything that you need already in front of you. We have the Six of Wands and the Magician coming out. Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is like Spirit saying, look, you can succeed at this. Again, you have everything you need already laid out on the table in front of you. But there is a decision here that needs to be made. And that decision is about us stepping out of our comfort zone and being able to release ourselves from whatever this is, this Eight of Swords, this Three of Swords, this pain that's currently holding us back from taking that first step on this new path. But once we're able to do this, once we're able to walk away mentally and emotionally from whatever this is, it seems like smooth sailing thereafter. There is a decision that's going to need to be made here. But I really feel like that decision is just about us deciding that we're ready to take this next step. Yeah, there's definitely something here about you getting your drive back. Because like, you know, when we're feeling down, when we're feeling depressed, when we're feeling hurt, we really don't feel like we have the energy to tackle anything. And Spirit's kind of saying, you have all that you need. This is just about us actually putting this plan into action. This is about us stepping out or utilizing these uncomfortable feelings to help us move in the direction that we need to go. Let's see if there's anything else Spirit wants to say to us because I think that pretty much ties it up with a nice little bow on the top as far as what what spirit's advising us to do here i'm hearing that's it okay okay so nine of wands on the bottom of the deck you guys are resilient you guys are going to be able to get through whatever this is we have the eight of wands and the four of swords coming out to me what this is saying is spirit is, is telling us you know what direction you need to head in there's nothing more to be said in this situation. There's nothing, you know, if you're going back and forth with somebody else still, it's time to kind of lay down our swords and take a break from that and instead focus our energies on moving in this direction towards this new path that is being fated for us to move down, okay? Yeah, for some of you, this definitely had to do with some type of a relationship. For others of you, this could have had to do with work, something, something along those lines. But the guidance here is if you're feeling this way, if you're kind of feeling stuck, if you're feeling heartbroken, know that you have the tools that you need to succeed, to move away from this pain. But it's going to take us stepping up to the plate and detaching from certain things and that might feel uncomfortable for us at first but know that your guides are with you and know that this move is being encouraged all right my friends that's where we're going to leave it at today i truly hope this brings you guys some clarity or confirmation if this resonated with you i love you all so much i hope you're all having a beautiful day and i will talk to you again soon